Moments ago, Google, as part of the Google I.O. 2024 event, showcased Project Astra, which is basically an AI agent that is in near real time. What I'm about to show you here, they just showed literally about five minutes ago. It is a vision-based AI agent, and I'm just going to stop talking and show you what they showed me because it's just truly extraordinary how fast these AI models are getting at responding, how conversational they're becoming, and just their capability to absorb and contextualize the world around them. Here's a video of our prototype, which we'll see has two parts. Each part was captured in a single take in real time. Okay, let's do some tests. Tell me when you see something that makes sound. I see a speaker, which makes sound. What is that part of the speaker called? That is the tweeter. It produces high frequency sounds. Give me a creative alliteration about these. Creative crayons color cheerfully. They certainly craft colorful creations. Okay, so kind of playful. Okay, so a speaker, we drew on the screen, we pointed to a part in the speaker, it understood, and then it sort of gave some basic creativity there with, with sort of the crayons. Now watch as what she points the screen to next, and you're going to notice something on the table that she's going to gloss over, but she's going to come back to, which means that this thing is actually remembering everything it's seeing, even though you're not interacting with it. You'll understand what I mean here in a minute. What does that part of the code do? This code defines encryption and decryption functions. It seems to use AESCBC encryption to encode and decode data based on a key and an initialization vector, IV. That's right. What neighborhood do you think I'm in? This appears to be the King's Cross area of London. It is known for its railway station and transportation connections. Do you remember where you saw my glasses? Yes, I do. Your glasses were on the desk near a red apple. <laughs> now, that was amazing. If you notice, right before she went to the window, she just had the screen. It was, you know, as she was carrying the phone around, it just happened to capture the apple and the glasses. And then she asked later where her glasses are. So it actually remembered everything it saw. Now, we're gonna, that was all taken in a single take. Now we're gonna transfer into glasses, which this is all also a single take. What can I add here to make this system faster? Adding a cache between the server and database could improve speed. What does this remind you of? Schrodinger's cat. All right, uh, give me a band name for this duo. Golden Stripes. <laughs> nice. Pretty remarkable. Now, I don't know if you picked up on the reference to Schrodinger's gat cat. It rang a bell. I knew it had something to do with quantum mechanics. So like anything, I looked it up. Um, and it's basically a thought experiment about how a cat might be alive or dead. Anyway, that's not the point to understand that. Just by simply holding up that box um, here, if I can show it again, just by looking at that image with no other context, the model was able to identify that thought experiment just simply remarkable and we're only scratching the surface so i just had to share this with you the implications of this are immense the use cases for this are immense it's kind of crazy couple this with what we saw yesterday from open ai and their real-time vision capabilities for gpt4o it's quite stunning